Hi there, welcome back to JD Answers. Today I have another unboxing of a brand called Shortow. And what I, first things I like to do is go over on what the literature says on the box itself. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, in this corner here just goes over some of the features it has. It has uh, photo mode, auto recording, loop recording, motion detection, G sensor. And the side of the box, it has pretty much the same thing. And it also says video recording. All right, so now let's go about what's inside the box. All right, we got the protective covering there. We'll take that out. And of course, the first thing we, you always see is a dash cam itself. So let's take a close look at this. And one of the first things I notice is the lens. And you can see all the, the lights it has on the outside. And this is the infrared light. So when it gets dark, these things will light up. And that way you get a clear picture. And on here it says WDR, which is wide dynamic range. This is one of the features it has. Full HD, 1080p. And then right here is the speaker. But let's take a closer look at the lens here. And if we take a side view of the lens, you can see the thickness of it. And let me get your closer look here and you can see exactly how the lens looks. This is pretty impressive lens. And of course there's a protective covering here. So once you install it, make sure you take that out. All right, the center is for the mount. This is the mini USB for the power cable. And this is the mini HDMI for the rear camera. All right, on the side here, you have your down button, menu button, and then your up button. And then this is the slot for your micro USB card. All right, on the other side, you have your OK button, which is going to be your top button here. Then you have the M button, which is your mode button. Then you have your lock button to lock those files. And then the last one in the bottom is your power button. And underneath there, you see your mic and the reset button. All right, let's see what else we have. And the first cable is going to be your power cable. And it's a mini USB. Here's a closer look at the mini USB. And one of the things I like about it is that it has an, a USB port so you could charge your cell phone or any other device in case you only have one power socket to put this in. And then it gives you another mini USB cable. Now this is great to have because you could transfer your photos to your laptop or desktop if you want to take out the whole dash cam itself. A lot of times all you have to do is take out the micro uh, SD card and you put in your laptop or computer. One of the things I like to do is keep this in a Ziploc bag with the, with the cell phone charger in there or a portable charger in case of emergencies. Now I have a video about dash cam solutions in reference to what to do in an accident with the dash cam. And I put a link in the top right for you and you really need to look at that so you can see exactly what to do. All right, next we have is the mount. It looks like this is one of the suction cup mounts. And this is a pretty standard mount, but this works very well. And this is a suction cup. You take out the protective covering, you put it on there, and then this lever, you push up or down. I'm sorry, you push down, and it gives a, a tighter seal on there. You can see how it looks there. You see how it bends forward? How it goes forward this way there. All right, and this is to adjust it. Once you get it mounted, you tighten this part up, and that way it doesn't move. And what's great about these mounts is that in case there's an incident in the side of, the, of you or your passenger side, you just loosen this and you could turn your dash cam to the direction that you need. So this is one of the good things about these mounts. And this is the, the screw in part for the dash cam. And all you simply do is before you install it, just put the dash cam on itself first and then you can mount it exactly where you need. There you go. And that's how it will go right there. All right, then we have another mount. And 
And this is actually another uh, mount for the dash cam. So if this one goes bad, which I have never had any of these go bad, you have a second one. So this is pretty neat. This is good to have. All right, next is the rear cable. And I like it because it has the red cable in there. And what's good about this red cable is when you install this to your tail lights, well, this becomes your backup camera in case you don't have one in your vehicle because we still have some older cars out there. And I have an older car that doesn't have a backup camera and I'm going to use this as my backup camera. And you can see the IR lights right here and this brightens up when the dark and that way you get a clear picture. And here's the mini uh, HDMI port, I mean, sorry, cable. All right, there's how it looks. And this is the, the rear cable. And this is when you install it. You got the rear cable out because you got to install this from the outside in and then this goes from the inside of the trunk and they both meet up. All right, here's a closer look how they look. Now, if you notice, there's an indention here and there's an indention right here. All right, so all you do is, is you, you mirror those together or you put them together and then you just push this in. What I do is simply just put them together and just turn and they'll fall into place. Let me try it again. Turn and it falls into place. That's all you gotta do. So you don't worry have to worry about the indentions, but I'm just showing you that they're there. And this is enough cable to go from your front dash cam all the way to the rear camera. And these cameras are waterproof. All right, next you have is the 3M mount. And these things really stick. These are very good. And I have never had any problems with these. I used to screw these in with these screws to the to the uh, license plate area and I would use these rather than the mounts. I wasn't too uh, sure about these. I was skeptical about them. But after using these, these are great. I never had to use these. And even if I've gone through car washes or rain storms, these things always hold on. So these are pretty neat. All right, next, let's see what we have. We have a customer service card. It gives you email, Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube, customer service support, and some frequent questions right here. So pretty good card. And uh, there's a scan me. And last is the manual itself. It's a smaller manual than I'm used to. Well, actually it's pretty standard. And it gives you the table contents and it lets you know that you do have two mounts. I was wondering if this was an error, but it wasn't. So that's very good. And it gives you how to insert the micro SD card. It tells you about this pin, how to take in and out the micro SD card in which that pin is right here. I, I forgot about that one. I didn't see that. And this pin helps you put in the, the micro SD card because it's a, always a push in. So this is going to help. It gives you a description of the buttons and the interfaces. How to install the dash cam, how to install the rear camera. And the wiring involved. And it gives you a little description of the operation modes. And the settings. There you go. Tells you all about the modes as well. And how to go through the menu and how to reset the menu and the features and it gives you some specifications at the end. All right, so now let's power this on. All right, I got the dash cam in and we're gonna go ahead and start the vehicle and the dash cam should start coming out. And there it is, you see the dash cam turning on and there you go. And then there's the picture in picture. All right, and now let me get the camera out here so you could actually see it. And there you go. You can see the, the dash cam there and you can see me moving the, the rear camera around. All right, so there it goes. It's all working. It's all in boxed and the, the picture in picture is working.
So if this video was helpful for you, please give me that thumbs up. You know, I appreciate that from you. If you are interested in this product, I'll put links in the top right for you. If you have any questions about this dash cam, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and select all notifications for all upcoming videos because I got more dash cam reviews of this product coming out. I actually have the review, I have the menu review, and I have the installation of this product coming out soon. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.